We are all confused. We don't understand that in every circumstance, God works things well. But Paul says, the moment he dwells in our hearts, we shall understand. Hallelujah. The cost of the indwelling of Christ is brokenness. And may I hasten to suggest that for Christ to dwell in our hearts, we must be broken. Now, my friends, God is breaking people. God is breaking me. God is breaking you. Until none of us will be seen except for Christ. In the potter's house, he breaks and he removes. He broke Job. He broke Job. And yet Job was a good man. Boils broke on Job's skin. <laughs> but because Job was filled with the fullness of Christ in his heart, he says, though he slay me, yet him I will worship. God broke Nebuchadnezzar. You see, when when he, when he looked at Babylon, hanging gardens, beneath it, the river Euphrates. Hallelujah. Powerful and majestic. One day, where after Daniel had received a vision that God is the God of gods and is the one who is going to establish a kingdom that endures forever. When he disclosed to Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar said, far it be from me. To believe such nonsense. Is it not I, Nebuchadnezzar, who has established this Babylon? Look at the vassals that he had mastered unto himself. And as he walked on the walls of Babylon, and, 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 and he remembered and he considered his mighty, a voice was declared from heaven. Nebuchadnezzar, we are breaking you. My friends, he was broken until he became an animal. Seven years later, the Bible says, in his brokenness, he lifted up his eyes and his sanity was restored. So he says, chapter 4, Daniel can't write it because he doesn't have the experience. He says, read it, he says, I, Nebuchadnezzar, I came to a point where I learned my lesson. Let all the kings of the world remember that in heaven there is a God. He enthrones and he dethrones. Let nations understand. Let them not get flattered by their powers. Let them not think that when servants are serving them, they become greater than God. You know, sometimes the problems you have, it's not because you are unfortunate. It's not because your aunt is bewitching you. It's God. It's not your aunt. It's not your grandmother. It's not the way things are. No one likes me anymore. My grandfather, my grandmother. It is God who is dealing with you. Until you come to a place where you say, yeah, you know what? Without God, I am. I'm <laughs> 